hey, Sonic 1 plus Sonic 2 gives you Sonic 3, right? Am I right? <laughs> I like that math. So. Hey, wait a minute. That isn't accurate. Angel. Duck. That's not the name of the game. Yeah, if the widescreen didn't give it away, uh, we're <laughs> playing a mod today. And here's Sonic 3. Uh, David told me about this, and uh, I was like, oh, this website where you can get this looks like it has viruses. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm going right. to download it. <laughs> I could use a little more risk in my day-to-day -day browsing. <laughs> right, so now the only thing that works on your computer is Sonic 3. There's nothing else. Yeah. What a strange virus. Yeah, your audacity is not even working right now. This is all a sham. No, we just we just get an ad for hot singles in our area. <laughs> uh, this game has a lot of features. Here they are. If you want to look at them, pause them or download it. I don't I don't care. Oh. I don't care. There's a lot of really good features and a lot of really good unlockable features. I'm not sure how many you got, but I don't know. how. I, I, is there an option to disable the unlockable prompt because it pops up a couple times in this let's play oh. like the achievements and stuff i'm gonna say sure i don't know <laughs> okay <laughs> great. i played this once and went that was really cool and i haven't been back to it since so oh. great will it unlock a friend to play the competitive mode against for me because like i've still never gotten to experience that i always just one player it like uh, good luck with that oh just come over we'll do it it'll be fun we can play azura lake and Endless Mine and the other three. I love the idea of traveling cross-country oh. just to play Sonic 3 multiplayer. <laughs> oh, goodness. I wish I knew who all these voices were. Uh, today we have Steven. That's me. And we have Chris. Fuck that guy. That's you. Then we have MBM. <laughs> MBM's back. What am I even doing here, though? That's MBM. TJ's back. I, I don't even like Sonic. All right, and <laughs> Skyler's back. Yeah, all right. That's not you. Oh. <laughs> David's here. Yay! Games enlisted. The last and definitely least. <laughs> that wasn't. Hey, hey now. You're an all-star. So I might as well get this out of the way, but oh. for like a solid like decade of my life, I was pursuing this like lost Sega game. Like, I had a very vivid memory of this, like, day when I was, like, I was, like, seven, I think, seven or six. And I had some friends who lived down the street came over and played this game with me. Like, I got it from Blockbuster. And then all of a sudden, like, two levels into the game, my mom came in my room and was like, your friends need to go home right now. <laughs> and I was like, um, I was like, I was like, okay. And, uh. So she sent my friends home and she, and I was like, why do they have to go home? And she was like, because there's this tornado. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh. so my, my friends are running home down the street. And I was like, look out, there's a hurricane. Because <laughs> oh. I was seven or six and I didn't know the difference between a tornado and a hurricane. <laughs> and they were like, well, a tornado would have been bad enough, but a hurricane, holy shit. <laughs> so then like, like a decade ago, I was like, what was that game? And I just like, I couldn't figure it out. And I like looked through archives and all these like top 10 lists of like, like best Sega games. Cause I was like, I was like, it was so good, but I don't know what it was. And at the same time, I also kept telling everybody that I was like, oh, I've never played Sonic 3. <laughs> t t turns out it, it was Sonic 3. Wow. <laughs> oh, well then, there I, you go. I was just imagining you fucking Indiana Jonesing across the world, like looking through archives <laughs> and libraries, like, what the hell was that game? <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, nah, nah. Just to rediscover Sonic 3 and Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just it was just Sonic Three, not not Sonic Three and Knuckles. Yeah, get it right. That's right. So this what did did you never look like Sonic Three Stage One just to be like, well, just in case, like, well, yeah, I, I, I'd seen it and I was like, I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't really remember that. It was it was Hydrosity. It was what? <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, how'd you say that again? Okay, here we go. <laughs> really, it's the same for the level. Say well, we're nice in the special are. stage with the corresponding color palette. We might That's as well right. get it out of the way right now. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, uh, okay. It, it, the Japanese manual spells it Hydro City, so it's Hydro. Yeah, I did it for you, Skyler. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you did it for me. Thank you. 
Uh, I'm just, correct. I'm just saying, like Angle, Angle Island is just like <laughs> the best, <laughs> the best level in the game. What they say, no man Angle Island. Sometimes the Eddie two argument just wins out in the um, end. Just go with both. <laughs> like sometimes it can just be both. I thought it was pronounced wet zone. Wet. <laughs> Where'd the water be? How do I get to that zone? <laughs> Well, I got all thrown off because I'm looking at these blue spheres, which could also be called balls, but they're not. They're spheres. Mm. Yes. I ignore the prototype. Get blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> We're just ticking all the old shit off, aren't we? Well, I mean, this is Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which some consider the pinnacle of the Sonic the Hedgehog experience. This is the the uh, the end of oh, the end of the Death Egg trilogy, you know, the Death Egg saga. And and so, you know, we, we finish Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Uh, the Death Egg crashes into Angel Island. Knuckles has no idea what's going on. Tails, uh, you know, creates this this emerald radar. And he's like, oh, there's there's things going on. Sonic and Sonic found a ring. And he's like, yeah, I'm already on it. I found this ring with some inscriptions on it. And so they hop on the tornado, not an actual tornado. It's the plane. And they fly Sonic to Hurricane. Angel Island Zone, which is on <laughs> Angel Island, which that's a little odd, but that's fine. And then and then so it begins. Knuckles showed up. He punched Super Sonic in the face and those Chaos Emeralds flew off. And he went, whoa, those are Chaos Emeralds because he was also guarding a set of Chaos Emeralds, which is in the jab. Japanese manual and then so you you have like you know, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is, is sort of like a, a three act story by itself but then you also got Sonic 2 and this is that thing breathe, but David breathe it's fine I have a question yes. what'd you just say give me get, uh -huh. hold on a sec uh-huh I have, I, have, I have a question uh, yes. why it's... is why is Angel Island zone uh-huh or why, why why is Angel Island in Angel Island no, okay. I think I know what you're asking. Well, why what, what you just said? <laughs> TJ, you have been to New York, New York, okay? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that that is true. So this could be like the, the capital zone of Angel Island, and it's called Angel Island. Just like, uh, you know, in the Archie comic, all the echidnas live in Echidna Palace because they couldn't think of a name. It isn't technically uh, in the game itself the, that whole island is actually called the Floating Island, and Angel Island is just this little section. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was an answer. <laughs> no. no. Are you no. stupid? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, so, in 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 there are no stupid West, questions except for that one. There are no stupid questions. I, I, I was just playing it up a little bit. No. In 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 the U.S. in the Western manuals. And, and all the related material, they called it the floating island. But in the Japanese okay, see, so manual... It, was, yeah, but, it wasn't something. But in the Japanese manual, in the Japanese lore, it's always been called Angel Island. Uh, the f re the fact they just called it... Oh, am I too... Okay. What? Am I... <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so so if, if it's... <laughs> oh, I, what I, happened? I, oh, I got myself thrown off. Somebody did a, a shush motion, but I think it's just that's not what it meant. I apologize. How did you see someone do a shush motion when we're talking through a call? I know. Well, it it was there's this person outside hanging uh, on my window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. And did he make the shush motion? <laughs> it's his sonic fact checker. I mean, you might be in a slasher movie, but I'm not 100% right. sure. Why do you have cat outside? Yeah, he's talking about it again. <laughs> instead of instead of people dying when they have sex. <laughs> they die when they talk about Sonic. Holding <laughs> Island and Angel Island, I get it. <laughs> but yeah, so, <clears throat> so I don't know why they changed it in the West. I guess they just thought Floating Island was simpler. But it, it is Angel Island. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's well documented, especially by the time you hit Sonic Adventure. They're like, this is definitely Angel Island. Please don't call it anything else. I think they were just afraid to invoke Christianity in the early '90s for Sonic. Uh, Any kind of angel? Nah, it vaults. That, that's why they had to change Link Shield. Or they didn't want to endorse San Francisco. Never <laughs> endorse San Francisco. <laughs> not, 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 not yet. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> they were gonna do that later. <laughs> they did it later that year. <laughs> why are you guys saying it wrong? Angle Island. Angle. <laughs> yeah, San Francisco, guys. Come on. Oh man. <laughs> oh god. Escape is, the city. This is a good game. I'm just stuck here thinking about how. David said the Death Egg saga ends with this game, but I remember playing some other games with the Death Egg in it, so I don't think this guy knows what he's talking about. Oh, well, we, we could call this the original Death Egg saga because the Death Egg is built and then it explodes. And we have one of the developers of his games with us, David. You have to be polite. Is, oh, right. <laughs> 
Uh, Chris, uh, please do not draw attention to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I'm trying to keep a low profile here on this YouTube video publicly publicly available on the internet. I found oh, you, faker. <laughs> yes. Right. So, so we could call that the the sequel. Right? Yeah, we could, couldn't we? The the uh, squeakquel. The squeak, that's right. You see <laughs> it, after Sonic 3, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore found the remains of the Death Egg. <laughs> and I mean, when you think it. about it with numbers, Alvin and the Chipmunks and Sonic the Hedgehog have equal ratio of, you know, male animal leads. It's basically the same franchise. Right. Okay, so is Sonic Alvin? And is yes. Tails... It's Tails like is Theodore. Theodore. And so no, Knuckles Tails is... would be Simon. Simon's the smart one. Is Simon the smart? I thought Theodore was the one. Who no, was Theodore's no, the Theodore's the, the naive one. He's the green one. <laughs> oh, the green I one. <laughs> the green. I can't wait for this wrong so hat. This is so that's Ashura. Ashura <laughs> is... <laughs> oh, I mean Scourge. I gotta I, use a... I, I think I think we need to decide who Dave is right now. <laughs> is Dave Eggman? Absolutely. <laughs> oh no. Oh wow. I yes. This makes sense to me because because you know Sonic was developed. He was meant yeah. to be in a band. Alvin and the Chipmunks is a band. Yeah. So you know Eggman tried to be their manager and he couldn't take Sonic shit anymore and that's why he wanted to throw him in a robot. It makes perfect sense. Yeah, Vector said screw this, I'm gonna go to law school. <laughs> oh, it's time I grow up. That's right. So Eggman is actually David Cross. <laughs> oh right, he was in those movies, wasn't he? It's the weirdest thing, but they also oh. got fucking they got Jason Lee in them too. Right, that's that's Dave. He's been skateboarding, Shivin. What else was he doing? Um, collecting the paycheck. <laughs> just, just all those paychecks for my life is their old reruns. Seven chaos paychecks. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, he. I mean, I'm responsible for about a third of that. Not gonna lie, but that's okay. Uh, hey, I I saw him in the latest Kevin Smith film. The, the one where... Yeah, I, I, I was about to say, he there, there wasn't any Kevin Smith movies out then, so that's what he had to do. That's right, he was <laughs> waiting. Why are you guys saying call? it wrong? It's Calvin Smythe. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> oh, just like my favorite Doctor Who companion, Evelyn Smythe. Oh. Uh, yeah, what he said. It's just like my favorite uh, comic strip, Kevin and Hobbes. <laughs> So, so I never really thought about. So I never really thought about it. I, is, is this supposed to be Flying Battery? No. <laughs> All right, we're watching a game. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's it sounds like it doesn't. It's a different color palette. Uh, or is that I, just like the generic like Genesis like airship sound? <laughs> I mean, it it, it, it is the, the same sound, but it is drawn a little bit differently, and I and I don't know why that is because you would assume, oh, that's got to be Flying Battery. What other giant flying ship does Eggman have? Uh, maybe it's possible that when Sonic 3 was, was first put together, that's how Flying Battery was meant to look, and then they changed their mind, and they just... Why is it called Flying Battery? Uh, <clears throat> um, that's a good question. Um, well, I guess we'll get to it. it. Because well, it sounds okay, cool. Well, well in, inside Flying Battery, you have all of those uh, egg capsules, right? And they've got the little animals inside. So if the if the animal friends are the batteries to the badniks that Eggman has, then it is a central repository of Eggman's version of a battery. I fucking love you, David. <laughs> <laughs> all right, oh, so heck. Howard Drossen City Zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Carl's Jr.? Carl's Jr. Zone. Oh man, they've got some some good ham. <laughs> ham? Yeah. Ham. Oh no. Just just let him just let him go. Just, <laughs> he's he's off the leash. <laughs> You're in the Hardy's country. <laughs> oh man, I haven't even been drinking. That's the issue. I'd be oh, bad. Man, I just got disconnected from the call for a few seconds. That was rad. Oh. Whoa. Well, it's because it. it Do it again. It, it, your connection got scared of this level because there's water in it. Right, and spikes. David was speaking too much truth, so your connection was like, I have to, I have to get you away from this. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, but we've canceled your call. All right. So so here's Sonic. He's, he's, he's getting deeper oh. into the world 
of Angel Island. He's no longer in the zone. I think it. Oh. He is. Oh, <laughs> no. People if ask you if you're was... fine, and you just have to say you are. <laughs> now, if, if only this was Mania, then you could have just flown up there. I. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I assume you're trying to keep this as pure as possible, but in this mod, you could enable that flight capability, can't you? Hey, I believe I so. I didn't want it. I want it to be pure. Right. Mm. Uh, right. Just like how I didn't spin dash in Sonic 1. Steven's like, no, no fly. No fly zone. <laughs> That's the name of this level. We've become the worst versions of ourselves. Well, what? <laughs> I think it's, uh, I think it's hashtag good game design that in the first couple levels of this game, like, each of the shields is more advantageous to the level. Like, the fire shield was really good in the first level, and then, like, a bubble shield makes this level yep. a lot better. It's not just, like, one really OP shield. You gotta yep. mix it up. Mm-hmm. Up, up. And then the the electric one, the, the electric one is good for next is for for Marble Garden because there's a lot of like jumps you got to do, so the the double jump is best for that. Damn right. Oh. I fucking love this game. It's pretty good. It's a good game. It is a good game. For how much I love it, I haven't played it in ten years, so I'm really rusty. Uh, ten years, I I just decided no, I don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> no, no, I made the choice. You, you you can't make me. No more good Sonic games. You didn't quit Sonic 3. Sonic 3 quit you. <laughs> right. You can you, you, you can take the, the smooth out of Sonic. Great, but you, you can't. broke the washing machine. Thanks, <laughs> Steven. <laughs> oh man, I had laundry to do. You know, imagine being a kid and renting mm. this game on the original Genesis cart and having it play the wrong music, and then you almost drown, and then it plays more of the wrong music. That must have been wild. Oh. Imagine being a kid running this game for Blockbuster and then your friends have to go home because there's a hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If I mean, if you look at, live in Duckburg, it might be more common than you think, but... Yeah, there was more race cars and aeroplanes. I don't know if anybody saw me get confused right there. I'm used to there being a spring. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, the, the spring is in the, the Sonic 3... By, by itself, itself and then the extra yeah. life oh it's it's just like like there's little changes in launch base oh no you didn't make it keep an eye out for that later wink i can't believe steven missed the initial entryway i don't know what you're talking about unless it's like the big big <laughs> one what i'm not sure what we're talking about so <clears throat> <laughs> Same. <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't uh, wouldn't uh, hi 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 basically just be Angel Island's uh, Angel Island sewage system? What? It's like why why would they need a sewage system to begin with? Well, well, you're the one who called it a sewage system. Yeah, it's it looks more like an ancient city. Yeah, right. Hence the name Hydro City. I got the whole more like Atlantis type situation vibe from it. Yeah, right. So, um. Well, because we we don't know a whole lot about the the echidna civilization, right? We there's there's little hints and p clues. Uh, I I like how you know you, you see those little icon the iconography that's in the foreground that kind of looks like the um, the shapes that you saw in in Marble Zone from Sonic One, but they're not quite the same. So it's like, are they related? Are they not related? Like we don't know. Like, there there's there's doors opening. Like what what is the ancient world of Sonic? How linked? How close was it? But oh yeah. But uh but the echidnas, all we know is really what happened before they all died. Uh because they didn't all die, some of them had to have survived. So this structure could have been built after their entire world was destroyed, right? So that like the um the the thought process behind how how do we build cities what is our level of technology because uh, this game does have show evidence that hey the echidnas knew a bit more than the people that we saw in the echidna tribe three thousand years ago uh, it's like especially you think about marble garden how that's more what Greco Roman while uh, in Sonic Adventure their civilization is more based on um, uh, you know, South American, uh, Aztec, Incan, wait, which one is it? Oh, uh, I forget now. Yes. Yes. And, <laughs> and so it's like some, so after chaos destroyed their civilization, that must have changed the way that they constructed, uh, their architecture. Uh, and, and so Hydra City and Marble Garden is, is proof of that because it is different. 
like, and also, there's zero snakes in this game. There's a ton of snakes in Sonic Adventure, so I guess they don't like snakes anymore either. Uh, David, can you write me a letter of recommendation so I can get into college? <laughs> <laughs> yes. On the third page of the letter. Ugh, fucking snakes, they don't like them. So we gotta get this guy. <laughs> see, see Cybershell made a tweet saying that oh. he wants the position of, of a Sonic of a Sonic Lord professor, but it's like you, there should be a whole a whole college of Sonic lore, right? With multiple professors because there's so there's so much lore and and all of it makes a hundred percent perfect sense. Yeah, there should be. Well, one of us had to say it. Uh huh. I like it. <laughs> Wake up to the truth, people. Ah, just want to put. There's the letter P in the back. The previous special stage had a uh, had flying batteries uh, color palette. Yeah, oh, that it's true. It was originally cut from Sonic 3 when they had to split it into two games because of <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> You're they're having a little trouble there. Yeah. God damn McDonald's. I, I, I have a good feeling. He's got it this time. <laughs> That's right. There we go. That's right. Uh, the McDonald's Corporation. Uh, it would have been a lot easier if you could fly, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they sat in the Sega Technical Institute and stared down Yuji Naka as he was programming this game. And that's why it had to come out in half. Ronald McDonald threatened them <laughs> with not ham, but a hamburger. <laughs> a hamburglar. He hamburgled that stage out of the game and into Sonic and Knuckles. That's right. Ha the Hamburglar has... I'm going to fix that one in post. <laughs> Hang on, guys. We're going to go make this funny or be right back. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to... I'm going to send... I'm going to completely redo everything. All my jokes will be good and everyone <laughs> will respond to them incorrectly. <laughs> nothing will make sense just, anymore. Just canned laughter. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh. Wow, Chris, that was a funny joke. <laughs> Thanks, I took it from Stephen. I, I, have, I have to go pull out my Skylar audio board. Oh, <laughs> oh Snatcher! Wrestling, oh, wrestling. God. You guys ever just order Domino's with your Skylar like voice board? <laughs> like it's the best Thursday afternoon activity. Swear to God. <laughs> oh, I didn't know there was a ring up there. Really? Damn, learning new things all the time. Yeah, oh, I never, I'm surprised. I never wow. Huh. David, I no longer want you to write me a uh, 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 recommendation because you didn't know that there was a ring up there. The uh, Sonic College will look at David and be like, he didn't know the ring was up there? Cringe. That's yep. not base. Cringe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, heck. I'll have to redeem myself with the rings and flying battery. Skylar, did you just F in 2021? Not in post, I didn't. <laughs> Bro, you you just posted F. You are going to lose cringe. Oh. <laughs> that's an that's an incredibly efficient formula to get cool. Be right back. Uh perfect. See? Hey. Yeah. That's you, Steven. Even the game agrees. This is very blue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for Issa Cap Zone. Yeah. Man, uh. there's so many colors and emeralds. Sonic Colors Remaster confirmed? <laughs> Wait, when is this going up? Uh, when is it? One day. Probably soon. Probably in a week. <laughs> oh, oh uh, it might still oh. be timely. That's right, because I heard there are other games that star Sonic. What? No, there isn't. Oh, you're right. That's why I was fired from Sonic College. <laughs> That's also why I am not asking you to write me a letter of recommendation. I'll do it. <laughs> because you believe that there's other games that star Sonic. That's right. Uh, there's there's only three. <laughs> Sonic 3, mm -hmm. Sonic and & Knuckles, and Sonic 3 & Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> the Holy Trinity. Some would say those are the only ones you need to play. That's true, but I, I think that's a disservice to to a lot of other games. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't just play Sonic Three. You should you should experience the 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 full scope of the sixteen bit era. You know, like 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 Knuckles Chaotix, Sonic Eraser, uh, uh -huh. Tails Adventure. Uh -huh. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. That's it. That's the How are none of play. you not gonna recommend Sonic Schoolhouse? Oh, because that's not a sixteen bit game. 
That's a PC game. Got him. B -b -b bonus stage. If it was ported to the Genesis, I would say play Sonic Schoolhouse. But unfortunately, um, it, it was clearly canceled because they must have been making one, right? Hey, it's a video game. You can play it, and you should play it <laughs> if you want. If you, <laughs> I mean, we're not stopping you from making your own choices. Uh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I like this bonus stage. Yeah. Is there is there any like are the bonus stages randomized or is there like actual uh, specific instructions to get one of the three uh, bonus stages? So the one that's all white uh, is all right. Um, <laughs> oh my god! <gosh. laughs> the one so the one with all the white the one with all the white sparkles gives you the 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 the, the gotcha one, but there's there's like ones that are red and white and I think those are random question mark. No, oh, they, they, it's all determined by a ring count. Uh, oh! If you pass the the signpost with a certain amount of rings, then it will give you one of the three. And I forget offhand which one's which or what the rings are, but it's like from one to twenty, and then twenty to something, and then fifty. It's definitely a, the third one. Uh, I used to have it better memorized, but I, I always forget because I it's fine. <laughs> There's so much Sonic stuff to remember. Who could remember that? Right. Yeah. You had to cram other stuff in for the Sonic test you were studying. That's right. <laughs> but but it but it is not random. It is based on how many rings you have when you pass the signpost. By the way, does, is does, this the act the that has the giant Sonic statues zone. in the ceiling? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. yeah. What? You can pick which question to answer. Yeah, what? I'm going to go with maybe to the first one and maybe to the second one. Well, I didn't hear either question, so I'm going to say definitely. <laughs> Let's see which one Steven picks to make the final cut. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And 